Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Apollo D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This module covers the use of global OBD2 scanner functions. Global OBD scanner coverage is strictly related to emissions-related coverage and is universal in that all vehicles sold in the U.S. and Canada since 1996 must comply with this standard. All 10 modes of OBD2 are covered by this tool and are accessible by selecting the OBD2 icon on the home screen. Not all service modes are supported by all vehicles, so the available menu selections will vary. Let's start by exploring the OBD Direct functions. The menu offers two choices, OBD Direct and OBD2 Health Check. OBD2 Health Check allows a quick check of the vehicle's emission systems. A quick link to access OBD2 codes, readiness monitors, and malfunction indicator lamp status. Let's start by exploring the OBD Direct functions. This opens a menu of two choices, OBD Diagnose and OBD Training Mode. Training Mode allows you to navigate through the menus and see results without being connected to a vehicle. This is a great way to explore OBD2 capabilities. For this demonstration, we select OBD Diagnose to diagnose a vehicle. Start Communication initiates a test session. Manual protocol selection establishes which vehicle protocol to use. Let's select connector information to see where to find the data link connector or DLC on the vehicle. Some of these models may not be familiar in the US, but all vehicles include access to Global OBD2, so you always have emissions coverage on any vehicle. Let's choose a Ferrari. Let's select model 550. Here's the connector location. Have you ever searched for a connector that was not in the usual place? The DLC locator makes it easy. Now select continue. Start communication connects to the vehicle. Confirm the information on the screen by selecting continue. Coverage includes all 10 modes of OBD2 and readiness monitors, which are very important when verifying emissions repairs. Readiness monitors provide a status report on emissions-related systems. Some monitor reports require an extensive drive cycle to complete the requirements of the test. Choose which monitors you would like to see. Results are shown for each monitor if the monitor is supported by the vehicle and whether the drive cycle test is complete for each monitor. Monitor tests must be complete for the vehicle to be ready for an emission test. What's this? Troubleshooter for Global OBD2? You bet! Snap-on Troubleshooter consists of expert tips from OEM and specialty technicians. OBD2 tips pertain specifically to engine and emission systems. Select Engine System. Troubleshooter code tips can save significant diagnostic time by giving you the likely causes for a specific fault code. For example, tips on a code may show the likely causes that might not be obvious, like instrument panel or wiring issues. Select Code Tips. Select a code and you see some general code diagnosis tips. Let's take a brief look at the valuable information inside each of the 10 modes in OBD2. Mode 1 displays current data parameters for engine and emission systems, typically the first step when diagnosing a check engine light. For more information on these icons, please see the scanner data training modules. Mode 2 displays freeze frame data a record of vehicle data parameters captured at the moment of fault code set. 
This can give valuable insight into the operating conditions of the vehicle at the time of the fault. Mode 3 displays the OBD2 trouble codes currently set by the vehicle. OBD2 fault codes are standard for every vehicle manufacturer. The code definition shown on the right explains the meaning of the code. Remember to look at Troubleshooter for useful insight into the likely causes of each code. Note, Intelligent Diagnostics will not return information as vehicle year, make, and model is required. Mode 4 provides an easy method to turn off the malfunction indicator lamp or MIL after a repair. Caution, this also clears freeze frame data, pending codes, and readiness monitors, so this should usually be the last step in your repair process. Modes 5, 6, and 7 display data parameters related to oxygen sensors, saved results of manufacturer-specific tests, and trouble codes detected during the last drive cycle. It's useful in determining the root cause of recurring fault codes. Mode 5 shows the result of the oxygen sensor monitoring tests. Choose the test you would like to view. Mode 6 displays the results of manufacturer-specific tests. Choose the test you would like to view. Test results are displayed on the screen. Mode 7 displays codes set during the last drive cycle. Mode 8 allows a service technician to invoke a special onboard test. This function varies by manufacturer. In this example, we see an EVAP leak test and a DPF regen available. Mode 9 can read the vehicle identification number or VIN, as well as the calibration and ID numbers for the engine control unit or ECU. We can see here there are options to read the VIN, calibration ID and more. Mode 9 Performance Tracking displays a record of the number of times each of the readiness monitors completed. Mode 10 displays diagnostic trouble codes with permanent status. These codes are stored in the powertrain control module for 400 days and cannot be cleared. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this training solutions series.